Hey guys, before we get started on this video, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. Uh, this segment was recorded about a month ago, and I know that I have been gone for quite a while. If you follow my Discord server or Facebook or anything like that, uh, you may have seen me post that things have not been going great recently. Uh, I have not had time to record, I have not had time to edit, uh, a lot of stuff has been going on in my real life recently uh, that has caused me to need to take a short break from YouTube. Uh, I did just recently upload the Nuclear UHC series, so if you're interested in watching something that's going to be consistent, go ahead and jump over to that. Uh, but this video is going to be a little bit longer than some of my other uh, MTV Skies episodes. And the only reason in that is because when I recorded it, I was not in a great headspace. Uh, there was a lot of long pauses, a lot of rambling, a lot of repeating of stuff. And instead of just going back and recording this episode again... Uh, I'm just going to upload it as is, and the main reason on that is because if I go back and try to record this again, I I'm going to have to undo a lot of progress that I had already done when I recorded this episode. So this is not me trying to make excuses, this is not me trying to gain sympathy, this is just me saying, uh, things are better now, and I hope that you guys continue to watch this series. Uh, watch some of my other videos in the meantime so small shameless plug there but um but yeah just ev everything is going a little bit better now uh i i do plan on making just a small uh real life video kind of explaining some things that have been going on uh but in the meantime enjoy this episode uh, it might also still be a little bit longer before new episodes start to come out. I just didn't want to leave this series on a weird note. I definitely do want to finish FTV Skies. I'm enjoying it. And I hope you guys are as well. So, thanks y'all for watching this video. And let's get into the episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Let's Play. In the last handful of episodes, we've been doing bees. I promise you, we are done with bees, at least for the time being. That, that's also hopefully going to be the last bee pun that I make. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, so I've been growing some acacia trees over here because our plan this episode is to get into industrial foregoing and start working on... Uh, farms, tree farms, uh, I, I think a mob farm, maybe, but I think there are things that I've, uh, anything that I need for mobs right now, I think I can already get through my loot fabricators over here, so I don't think there's really any reason to have a full-on mob farm right now. There are probably things that I'll need it for going forward, but everything that I currently have I, our need, I have processing. So we'll, we'll get into industrial foregoing, we'll get as deep as we need to go, and then eventually maybe work our way back over in this side towards the mob farm. I took the mob farm down uh, because the Endermen were getting on my nerves. I did find a way to stop them from teleporting, uh, but it, it still, it was clogging up my system with so many drops that I just need time to sit and process. So we're not going to worry about that right now. So in this chest here, I have the starter set of what I'm going to use for industrial foregoing. We have a few fluid extractors, some dissolution, a dissolution chamber, a latex processing unit, uh, some constructors for placing acacia logs and all of that fun stuff. So we are going to take these guys and we're going to build everything kind of in this area here. Uh, can I rotate you? I can. Okay, cool. So we're going to put one, two, three, four. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I think because there was a acacia log already here that didn't get fully broken down. That's weird. Okay. 
So is that just going to forever be a broken texture? Can I reload the chunk? L let me place you here. And then, like, what is it, like, F3A? I don't know. That I think that might just be forever a broken texture until maybe I restart the game. Uh, who knows? So we're going to have those here. What's going to happen is the constructor is going to place acacia logs in the center. And we're going to do that in two sections. So we're going to have one here and one here. I already had some of this set up and then uh, restarted my recording because I was having some issues. That's not important. So we're going to have these here. This is going to... Uh, let me grab a block that's not going to start getting eaten. <laughs> Speak, speaking of eating. Um, so let me drop you here to place this on top. And then we will break the cobblestone block, put it here, and then that. So that's just so we can get processing kind of like twice as fast. Um, and then we will have some cable, which I have over here. This will run between the two and down this way. I'm going to connect it just like so. And then you are going to get acacia logs. Because I looked it up, acacia logs are the highest amount of latex output so uh, it gets like five buckets at a time and i don't know how that works if it's feeding into multiple it looks like they're all getting the same amount so that's good so then we're going to come down here really quick because all of these guys also need power they don't need power specifically but if they have it i think they work faster because you see how fast this is going right now and it's using 500 FE that kind of just doesn't exist. So we're going to run this cable all the way down. Then we're going to branch out to you, branch out to you. Three, four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a flux point, which I have in my chest here. We're going to place a flux point just underneath this log and then universal cable all the way around. And that should speed these up a little bit, but we also, I've went ahead and like I said, I, I made some of this already and then had to stop and restart. So we're going to put speed upgrades in all of you. Which I don't know if that actually does anything. But hopefully it does because it's speed upgrades. So one, two, and then I'm going to have to come back later and make more. So then what I was doing after that was I'm going to export, well, import all of my latex into the system but i think to do that instead of doing it on all of these i'm just going to get a tank uh which we have some fluid tanks i don't know why these aren't stacking if it's saying they're empty don't know so i'm going to put a fluid tank probably right here which once again is going to have a broken texture. Uh, importer into the system. Uh, let's put that on top. Just so it saves cable. So then I'm going to need actually. Hmm, this could probably sit. It needs to sit somewhere that it has access to all of this. Cause what I'm going to do is get my 
mechanical pipes, which are for fluids, and they are going to come out. So if I did that, and put a tank here, and then set you to pull. You're going to fill that up. But I need that to be able to happen. Maybe if I put the constructor underneath, I can break that, break that. I can take you. I can either have the constructor on top and the tank underneath, or the tank underneath and the constructor on top. I think I'm going to put the tank underneath which means I do need to break this. Uh, hmm. Because then I'm also not gonna be able to get power in there. Okay, so. Well, either way, oh, well, no, because specifically I need power running to all of those. So I'm gonna put a tank. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Unless I just want to get rid of one extractor. Um, let me let me think about that. I went ahead and moved everything down here instead of way up over there. And the only reasons sort of being is that one, it's kind of closer to the mice. I mean, it was closer to a cable over there, but this is also where I'm wanting, like I said, my mob farm to go. So eventually I'll probably tie into these cables anyway. And it's like right next to the tree farm, which once again, probably doesn't matter, but this is also just kind of out of the way. So we're just gonna keep this over here and out of the way. So the next thing that I'm gonna need is my latex processing unit, which I will drop. I think the best place to put it would probably be over here. So latex processing and my dissolution chamber and either, either, both of those are going to get crafters. I'm gonna plop those down here and this one, the latex processing unit is going to get tiny dry rubber. This is going to get patterns for um, the add-ons. So the tier upgrades for speed and processing those are already programmed to one bucket of latex equals 10 tiny dry rubber, and these have everything that's needed for those. So I just need to come down here and uh, cable in these. I probably need some more cable. I'm just going to go ahead and make a bunch of those. So let me... tap into this I brought my angel block so I can like stand on it <laughs> and it seems to be working okay I built out a little platform down here but eventually I'm just going to take that out so connect here this can come down and connect to those and that will turn this on. And then I just need to extract from these. So I'm going to put exporters, or I'm sorry, importers, I'm gonna put on the bottoms of these here. So importer can sit there, perfect. So anything that gets crafted out of this is just going to immediately go back into the system and then cover this up. And I, I put covers on these right here, but you can tell by the fact that the lighting doesn't fully update on them. Uh, what if I put some sparks down? Let me go ahead and just drop one of these like here. And I'll go ahead and drop one over here. I, I had my feral flare lantern. The only thing is, is that while I was trying to do the bees, 
over here, it kept putting uh, flares inside where I needed it to be dark. So that wasn't fully working. So this has a external storage on it. So it's not actually being stored in my system. So it shouldn't overload my system. Once this fills up, it's done and all of this will shut off and stop processing. So that we should be okay on. Uh, my dissolution chamber and my latex processing unit should all be good to go. So like, so tiny dry rubber, I'm, I'm good on for now because I had it auto processing, but decided to not. I also probably need to make a drawer for it just so it doesn't get super overwhelmed. Um, what else do I need to potentially do on this? I need to add some more processing and speed upgrades to these guys. So all four of these should have one. So one, two, three, four should be good. One, two should be good. I just need two more of each. So which is why I went ahead and made some. So if I do add-ons here, add-ons here, that should significantly speed up the process and you can see it going a lot faster now. So with this guy, uh, let's do three processing and a speed because I think you can only do one speed anyway. But let me... Let me just go ahead and craft like two more just to test that. So that should be made in the dissolution chamber, uh, which also needs power. That's right. So let me, ooh, that's gonna be a problem because I have you exporting there. So, I may just end up having to export out the front. Or the top. Probably the top. Those are mechanical pipes. Those are not the correct thing. Cable. Not a tank. Place the right item. One, two, three, cool. And then I'm just gonna end up exporting, putting them back into the system from the top. So then I can just take this cable, drop it there, and you should be good to go. Right, so let's put processors in you. That should have gotten me my speed tier upgrades. And like I said, I think I can only put one. Yeah. So I can put one in here, one in here, and then you each get three process speed upgrades. That's a speed, so I need one more process. And you should be good to go there. I'm probably going to put you down one. It's probably a waste of cables, but I want to at least be able to cover that to make it look sort of nice. All right, so that should be good to go on these machines right here. Uh, the next thing to do would be to uh, plant sower. And a that's the mob slaughter factory. This is a animal feeder and a separator. Uh, this will collect fertilizer. Uh, where do I get into? So that's mob duplication, simple machine frame, plant fertilizer. All right, laser base, that's that's what I need now. So kind of to do that, you have to go through mob slaughter, but I don't really want to. So plant sower might be the next one to take. Plant gatherer and sower. 
and then this gets me a sludge refiner. So let me stop and put those here. You're still processing. You're almost close to full. So let me let me gather some of the resources that I need to be able to then go up and start working on a, a farm up here. So the next thing I want to make is the plant sower to start this quest line. So plant sower. I need to come up here. I need to make two pistons. Let me see what all I already have. So I have nothing in here, so cool. So I need pistons times two. I need iron gears times two. Do you know how to make iron gears? You do not, but they're cheap. So two iron gears. Uh, I need two plastic, which I've already taught my system how to make. So two plastic out of the tiny dried rubber that I already have. Uh, and I need a pity machine frame, which my system already knows how to make. And a flower pot, which apparently I already have in the system. Cool. Uh, so that's one half of that task. Next half, I need four more, so I need one more machine frame. I need two more plastic. And I need one, I need two axes. Um, uh, iron hoe. And two gold gears. That should get me this guy here, which should also get me a sludge refiner. Not 100% sure what that does. So the plant sower will plant seeds and saplings above itself. So that's awesome. Uh, has nine slots for nine areas of the field above. For example, a three by three field, each slot is a single block and a nine by nine, each slot is a three by three. Okay. Uh, plant gatherer harvest crops and trees. In it, some sludge is created as a byproduct and needs to be piped out. By default, it does not replant the crops. However, it will if given some ether. So how does one make ether? Is ether gas? what we need that looks like the only thing so ether looks like it can be made with a laser drill or a fluid laser base so is that something that we need to do probably so we probably need to get into the laser drills soon okay cool all right, so it will not replant. That's the only problem. And I'm assuming it still needs water. So it's a three by three area. So let me go ahead and break all of this. Let me get rid of all of you, finally. <laughs> um, I hate Forcecraft. Uh, Cool. Let me get rid of these seeds really quick. Let me put some of this stuff away. Uh, I think we're good on you. Good on you. You can go away. You can go back in the system to then eventually be piped back out. Cool. All right. So plant gatherer and plant sower. And this said it's going to be a nine by nine above. So if I put you right there, let me get another hoe. And all of this is going to start dying. So I do need a water source somewhere. So let me break you. We'll put a water source here. Which 
just to make sure that all of this fertilizes again. Or I think, isn't there farmland that doesn't need... I think there's some kind of farmland that doesn't require water. So let me cut these down and we'll check on that really quick. So farmland. Rich farmland from Farmer's Delight. Rich soil keeps nearby farmland Place below farmland for sprinkler-like growth. Also, isn't there, there is like a sprinkler or something, isn't there? Sprinkler consumes water and grows nearby crops. Huh. Let me, let me try the rich place below farmland for sprinkler-like growth. I'm cyclic. Uh, let me let me try the rich soil. Do I have? I may not have biomass. That may be something that I need. Yeah, I don't have lily pads or biomass. Jeez, wish that. Eh. Meh. I, I think we'll be okay right now with this water source here. Eventually we can look into some other stuff. All right, so what do you do? So let me get something to plant. So let me try regular seeds. And if I put you up in the top corner, you should start planting and I think it's at like a three by three in this corner. Let me grab some more dirt. All of these things in my way. Okay. So let me grab some more dirt. Let me put it along here. Just to make this area a little bit bigger. You probably need power. So let me come down here and get you power. So I'm just gonna grab another flux point. So that way we don't have to just run cable everywhere. Connect you to the power network. and go. Let me show the working area. Okay, so the working area looks like it's up there. So it's probably so I can put it deep under the water source. So let me do that. Let me move you down one or two blocks. So like if I put you Here and then said show working area. Your working area should be, yeah, the middle of that. So then if I were to put my water source back there, let me grab one of one of my thousands of buckets. Um Okay, so the water is there. It's just blocked by that hitbox. Okay. Uh, and then I were to probably need a range extender on this thing. So let me get my so a range tier. So that's gonna be 
some emeralds and all of that. So let me put you in here. I'm just going to jump to the highest here. There's no point in not doing that. Because it's not a level-based system. It's like I don't need one to get the next to get the next. I just need to drop everything in here all at once. So there's my tier upgrade. Let me put you in this guy so that that gives you a wide area now which is fine so i can hide your work area and then give you seeds and do you plant you probably need to be up one more so i probably need to take you out take you out put you directly below the water where did you where did you go oh i can't pick you up because there's too much junk in my inventory you can go away let me put you here let me put my upgrade back in you seeds seeds and then extend this out just a little bit and you still need power. Flux point here. Do you need other stuff in you? You shouldn't need, I don't think you need water. Show working area. Your working area is now this right here. So it says you work in a three by three. So a three by three on the red side would be right here. I don't know why you're not working. Your working area is one above. Let me take this out. Maybe maybe that range ex extender is too big because it looks like it's trying to plant right here. All right, there we go. I, I think, yeah, my, the range extender may have just been too big. So now it's planting along there. So let me get something like carrots. Um, potatoes. Let me see what other seeds I've got. Um, melon, beetroot, demon. We do tomato. We'll see if you can harvest flax. We'll do cabbage. Sage, why not? I don't know if you'll be able to do melons and pumpkins. Let me let me just pick like a corner of each and do like tomatoes in the middle. And then you're going to have to actually have these items. And then let me pick these up. All right. And I just need to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now it seems to be working. Very nice. So I need some more dirt to just fill in this area back here. I can turn off your working area. So I think this can go out like one, two, three, 
and then maybe a fourth block. I can't remember how far water extends. But then we'll worry about stuff like um, but then we'll worry about stuff like sprinklers and all that later. Ways of like keeping dirt processed and stuff. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we'll extend this out one more. So the next thing I need to do is just import seeds into the system, which means I probably, oh, well, cool. Uh, exporter to you, um, some cable, connect to you here, and then we'll just do, can I do seeds? and then exact mode off. And then I'll get some speed and stack upgrades. And we'll see what gets extracted from the system. All right, so it's just gonna do seeds. I don't want that. Okay, so, um, Maybe an interface would be a better option here. We'll try them and see if they work because I've had bad issues with <laughs> interfaces in the past. I realized with mechanism that the um, interfaces only work if you also use mechanical pipes. So hopefully some of these other, um, hopefully some of these other systems will work better. Uh, let me put all of these back. Okay, nope, you still also don't like interfaces. Because um, you're inputting. All right, so let me... So let me do this. Let me move my interface back one. And then I'm going to get some pipes. Uh, some logistical transporters. We will configure you to pull. I need you to not be any assigned color. Cool, so you will just pull 52 at a time. We'll set you to 64 at a time. Oh. Okay, so hang on, I think I know what I can do. So let me... Ah, so many seats. Okay. All right, so we'll put that back in. We will unlock you. We'll take all of these seats out. And we'll put them back in the system with speed and a stack upgrade. We'll take you out, so we'll put seeds in you. Uh, potatoes in you flax up top uh, tomato seeds we're putting in the middle oh you have to like save that uh, oh no it's pulling them and planting them all right and you can't, cheese Louise, okay, off, <laughs> unlock, all right, I'm getting frustrated, I will come back when this works, so I turn this on, all of these should be locked, so nothing else will come in here, 
and then this should all be planting up top. It looks like it is fantastic. So I think we're good to go with this. Next, we will start working on trees, but we also need to start working on like harvesting all of this. So let me show the working area. So you are working exactly in this area. Perfect. All right, we will be right back. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, I know it ended on a weird cliffhanger on the fact of me saying, let's figure out what to do next. But it obviously based on the introduction at the beginning of this video, I didn't have time to see what was coming next. So <laughs> coming, coming up next in the series is just more of this industrial foregoing. And then after that, I will find some other quest lines to start to jump into. But I don't need to ramble on and make like I said in the beginning, make any excuses, uh, make any reasons to not have done this. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode.